Brian, well, before Miss Michigan was crowned the new Miss USA on Sunday, the final five contestants faced a firing line of tough questions. Last year, it was Carrie Prejean's gay marriage question. This year, Miss Oklahoma was asked about Arizona's illegal immigration law. Here it is. Arizona's new immigration statute authorizes law enforcement authorities to check the citizenship of anyone they believe may be in the country illegally. Now, listen to the question before you boo. Do you think that this should be mandated by the state or by the federal government? I'm a huge believer in states' rights. I think that's what's so wonderful about America. So I think it's pers perfectly fine for Arizona to create that law. And I am against illegal immigration, but I'm also against racial profiling. So I see both sides in this issue. So did Miss Oklahoma's support of Arizona's immigration law cost her the crown? Joining us for an exclusive first interview is Morgan Elizabeth Woodler, the first runner-up in the Miss USA pageant. Good morning to you. Good morning. And you've been watching Fox and Friends since you were a little girl, right? I sure have. And, and you, <laughs> you, you've been watching what's going on in Arizona, so you were ready for that question, Completely right? Completely ready. Absolutely. I knew going into it, it was going to be a controversial question asked, and I prepared for the job of Miss USA, and with that, I think you need to know what's going on in your world and your nation. Right. It was interesting because the, who, the man we saw ask the question, Oscar Nunez, who is, stars on the Office television program, if you, if you listen to the question, the question is actually not factually correct. Did you pick up on that? I did pick up on that, actually. I think a lot of people don't realize that there is a federal law that is very similar to the one that Arizona has already passed. Right, so, but the way in which he said was that, um, he sort of said what the president has said, that you can just pick up somebody willy-nilly without any reason. That was the way in which right. the question was posed. and you have to have reasonable cause in order to do so. And I think that's when it's wrong, when there is racial po profiling involved. I don't know, why were you expecting the question? I know you have to read the newspapers and be ready. Do you feel as though that maybe they wanted to make sure you didn't win, asking you a question that there's no way to win because it's so polarizing? I wouldn't say that necessarily, but I do agree that it's a polarizing question. It's kind of doomed if you do and doomed if you don't. Right. You know, a Facebook MySpace question won't offend anyone, but I do believe something as controversial as illegal immigration could potentially do so. Do you feel that uh, the, other, uh, the other contestants got questions, Morgan, as tough as yours? You know, I think I leave that up to the viewers to decide. Because it was really a loaded question. I mean, of course, it's and, and given the what happened last year, an issue in our nation right now. But but exactly. how how it works is you picked a, a name out of the bowl, right? Correct. Is that how it worked? Yes, so, ma'am. So and and it, is it your understanding that those judges have pre-screened those questions with the Miss Universe organization? So, for example, no matter who picks out uh, Oscar Nunez's name, they're going to get that question. Correct. Yes, ma'am. That's what you understand. Okay. Now, first, you did awesome. I Thank mean, I, you. I was the first pageant I watched because I didn't know Gretchen then. When, <laughs> if America, I would, that would have been the first. I've watched it and I was like, this is really, this oh, is really cool. And there's so much pressure. Awful. Whose idea was it to make women dress in bathing suits and high heels? That's like an impossible mix. <laughs> or, am I correct? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, they, they've been doing that for a very long time. Yes. You know, uh, there have been some who've said, look, your question was so hard and, you know, some didn't like the answer. Do you feel that Miss Michigan won fair and square? Sure, I do think so. You know, I'm happy for Rima. I think it's fantastic that she's the first Arab American to win the crown, and I think she'll do great things with her title. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's going to be a problem with these pictures emerging from a 2007 uh, stripper contest, which she evidently won? Pole dancing. Pole dancing. No, it's a stripper contest. It was a. I think it was uh, uh, radio dancing. radio uh, promotion. Well, do you think it'll be a problem considering all the uh, the, the pre all the other controversy with the other winners? Well, I think we'll have to leave that up to the president, Paul Shugart, and Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens. Let me ask you this. Do you think that a contestant can answer a controversial question where the country is split on it and actually win the crown? That's a great question. I would hope to think so, <laughs> but I'm not a judge. But I do believe that it was a polarizing question, and if you ask a polarizing question, you'll, you're probably going to get a polarizing right. answer. Now, do you know Oklahoma is putting together uh, a law that's Arizona Plus on illegal immigration? Where do you stand with that? Where do I just stand Where, on what? Uh, it, there's going to be an immigration law in Oklahoma, the state of Oklahoma, called Arizona Plus, even more strict. 
I support it. Again, I'm a huge believer in states' rights. I think that's something wonderful about our country. Vermont legalizes gay marriage. You know, we have California voting to possibly legalize recreational marijuana. I think we have that right as a state. Okay. Morgan, what are you doing next? Uh, you're going to continue with your uh, education, right? Yes, sir. I'm going to finish school. I'm a sports media major. And we'll see what else lies ahead of me. I think I have a lot of opportunities. And I know that regardless, crown or no crown, I will be successful in life. Well, it is great that you would uh, drop by and give us this exclusive Thank interview. Thank you so much. Morgan Elizabeth Woolard from Oklahoma. Yes, Woolard. sir. And the runner-up as well. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. It was All a right. pleasure. Great to meet you. Thank right. you. Coming up on the